In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 17, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Cincinnati Reds vs. Pittsburgh Pirates The Cincinnati Reds will continue their road trip with a visit to Pittsburgh on Monday night for a National League Central Division matchup against the Pirates. The Reds enter this game with a record of 34-37 after dropping two out of three games in their weekend series against Milwaukee. Similarly, the Pirates have matched the Reds' 34-37 record, having secured the last two games in their series against Colorado, placing both teams tied for third place in the division. Pirates pitcher Paul Skeens has been dominant in his six starts this season, giving him a significant edge over a Reds lineup that ranks 27th in the league in batting average. The Pirates have triumphed in four of Skeen's last five starts. On the other hand, the Reds will send Carson Spears to the mound for his first start of the season. Although Spears managed to pitch over five innings in his most recent appearance, this will be his debut start of the year. Skeen's is expected to rack up double-digit strikeouts against a Reds lineup that ranks 24th in terms of fewest strikeouts per game. While the Reds might appear Tempting with plus money, backing Carson Spears to compete against Paul Skeens seems less appealing. Skeens has been exceptional since his promotion to the major leagues. Although the Pirates' offense has struggled with consistency throughout the season, they have generally provided adequate run support in Skeens' starts. Thus, the Pittsburgh Pirates' money line is our full-game side pick. Despite the upward trend in Cincinnati's offensive performance, they face a challenging opponent in Paul Skeens. The rookie pitcher has not conceded more than three earned runs in any of his six starts. Conversely, the Reds will rely on Carson Spears, an under-the-radar starter who has impressed over his last four outings, compiling a 1.17 earned run average and a 0.85 WHIP over 15.1 innings. Spears is coming off a 5.2-inning scoreless performance against the Cubs. Skepticism remains regarding whether the Pirates have fully resolved their offensive issues, as their recent surge may be attributed to playing at the hitter-friendly Lee Coors Field over the weekend. Overall, they rank 26th in OPS this year. Despite both offenses showing improvement over the last 15 days, the under for the projected total is our full game total pick. St. Louis Cardinals vs. Miami Marlins The St. Louis Cardinals are set to face the Miami Marlins, with both teams eager to improve their standings after a challenging season. Currently, the Cardinals boast a 35-35 record. Despite this .500 record, they occupy the second spot in the National League Central Division. In stark contrast, the Marlins, with a 23-48 record, are struggling significantly and are positioned at the bottom of the National League East Division, having endured five consecutive losses. On the mound, Gray must maintain his recent performance. He began June with a couple of shaky outings, resulting in an 0-2 record, allowing seven earned runs on seven hits and seven walks over 9.2 innings. However, he rebounded in his latest start, securing a victory against the Pirates, conceding just one earned run over seven innings. In Sunday's game, the Cardinals managed nine hits but only scored in one inning. Nevertheless, thanks to stellar pitching throughout the game, those runs sufficed. Pedro Pages contributed with a two-run homer, and Brandon Crawford, who had two walks and a hit, scored another run. Sonny Gray has been outstanding this season, recording an 8-4 record with a 3.01 earned run average, a 1.03 WHIP, and an impressive 91-20 strikeout-to-walk ratio over 12 starts. Opposing hitters are averaging just .202 against him. The Marlins, on the other hand, have struggled offensively all season, ranking in the bottom 10 of the league in runs, home runs, are BIs, walks, OBP, SLG, and OPS. The Cardinals have shown significant improvement recently, playing well over the past week and climbing to second place in the National League Central. However, their road record remains a modest 18-20. Meanwhile, the Marlins, with only 23 wins this year, continue to perform poorly offensively. Miami will start Braxton Garrett, who has been battered in his last two starts, whereas Sonny Gray has been consistently strong this year. Given the Marlins' offensive struggles, the St. Louis Cardinals' money line is our full-game side pick. 
The Marlins have been ineffective on offense this season, ranking in the bottom 10 in key offensive statistics. Conversely, Sonny Gray has been sharp, hosting an 8-4 record with a 3.01 earned run average, 1.03 WHIP, and a 91-20 Kelvin BB ratio over 12 starts. Opponents are hitting just .202 against him, and he has allowed two or fewer earned runs in eight of those starts. With Braxton Garrett expected to pitch multiple strong innings, the Marlins should be able to limit the Cardinals, who average just 3.87 runs per game. Similarly, Sonny Gray should dominate a Marlins lineup that has managed only four runs in their last four games. Gray, coming off two starts where he allowed only four runs, is likely to deliver multiple scoreless innings with minimal contact and several strikeouts. This matchup is expected to be a low-scoring affair, with both starting pitchers playing pivotal roles. Consequently, under the projected total is our full game total pick. San Diego Padres vs. Philadelphia Phillies. A three-game series in the National League kicks off on Monday as the San Diego Padres face the Philadelphia Phillies. These two teams last met in a three-game set in late April, with the Phillies sweeping all three games on the road. The Padres have struggled through their first 74 games of the regular season. Heading into Sunday's action, they hold a 37-37 record and are seven games behind the Dodgers for the top spot in the National League West. They will send right-hander Randy Vasquez to the mound. In his last outing, he allowed one run on seven hits and two walks while striking out five over five innings in a no decision against the Athletics. For the season, he has a 4.93 earned run average, a 1.51 WHIP, and a 26-7 Kelvin and BB ratio over eight starts. However, this matchup will be challenging for the young pitcher as the Phillies are ranked in the top five in OPS and average over five runs per game. It is likely that they will capitalize on several of Vasquez's pitches. Betting against the Phillies does not seem wise at this point. Despite losing three out of four games leading into Sunday, Philadelphia remains offensively robust and capable of scoring against San Diego's Vasquez. The Padres starter has a 4.93 earned run average and only 26 strikeouts over 38 innings. A notable difference between the starting pitchers is that Philly Sanchez has significantly more strikeouts and has pitched more innings. Sanchez, having pitched 32 more innings than Vasquez, has only allowed one home run this season, compared to Vasquez's eight and fewer innings. This suggests that if any home runs are hit early, it is more likely to be by Philly's sluggers like Schwarber or Harper rather than any Padres hitters. Vasquez has surrendered a home run in each of his last four starts. With Philadelphia's powerful lineup, the Philadelphia Phillies' money line is our full game side pick. Despite the offensive capabilities of these teams, recent trends have favored the under. The Padres have struggled to generate offense recently, scoring only one run in each of their first two games against the Mets. They are likely to continue struggling against Philly Sanchez, who has allowed just one home run over more than 70 innings pitched and rarely makes mistakes. The Phillies have gone under in four of the last five games started by Sanchez. Additionally, Philadelphia has gone under the total in 12 of their last 15 games, and this trend is expected to continue. San Diego has also gone under in four of their last five games and is likely to struggle offensively in their first game in Philadelphia. Both teams are trending toward the under. Sanchez limits home runs, and the Phillies rank third in the major leagues in team earned run average at just 3.1. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.